said it's back from the dead so essentially to mark the return of two footer I'm um, doing a short video series on accessories before I start on the whole uh, dunking thing dunking thing coming soon obviously obviously you know obviously you know the whole what you saying don't even don't even don't even play with me like that so yeah dunking thing coming soon but right now we're doing an accessories thing we're just gonna talk about accessories and that basketball accessories talk about the importance of them the uses of them like if they're actually yeah, you know, worth getting in life. So today's topic of discussion is sweatbands. Like these things you get, these kind of things. Are they good for what they're advertised for? Hell yeah! Like I mean, if you're playing and your hands are getting sweaty, you just in the car you've got the two things on. Just they're like little towels for your hands. But yeah, they've got a much better purpose. That is, see, when you be dunking, like I be dunking. Or the, the likes of my boys like like Jalito, you know, Connor, them boys, the way that we, we all be dunking, we like we're coming up with force. <sighs> so anyway, all that force just it like it be bruising up your uh, all this area just you be getting bruises and you can't really see here. Can you see? Can you? I don't think you can see. No, I don't think you can see. When well, you be getting bruises from dunking on that. Stop putting these things on, and obviously it's not like the world's greatest shock absorber. Like this thing's just a piece of cloth. But it does actually help with the the, the impact. Like you come in, God, it's not a sore. You come home and you're not bruised, like you would be if you went in with your berries. So yeah, just one of these things does actually help. How much did you pay for it though? Yeah, not too much, I would say. And um, using them indoors versus outdoors. Right, see, when you're playing indoors, um, dunks and that aren't quite as vicious. I didn't mean, you know, they're, okay, they're kind of more vicious indoors, but indoor hoops are generally more gentle. The indoor hoops themselves are like softer and like they're kind of flexible. Like, the hoops are flexible, but you know what I mean? They, they go down. But outdoor hoops, especially if you're playing on double rimmed hoops. Mm. I don't know what those are like. I'll, I'll put a little picture thing. So yeah, double rim tubes, right? Those things are absolutely. Uh, so you don't got a double rim hoop. I think it's gonna it's gonna hurt. That's why these things come in handy. As that's what I think the actual these should be. That's what these should be advertised for, just to protect you from them. So do I think they're worth buying? I mean, yeah. If you get if you can get them for cheap, because like. An expensive one and the cheap one. The only difference in the expensive ones and the cheap ones is the, uh, uh, the expensive ones. You see these little, little fluff balls? The mad expensive ones don't really like pick these up as, uh, as much as like, the cheap ones. Are, like, uh, so, uh, yeah. Get them if you can find them cheap. So, yeah. It's calm. It's Gucci, you know what I mean? It's calm. Don't miss them coming soon. Going live. Hope you guys missed me.